They called Siri outdated. They said Apple was too late to the AI race. But today, that changes. Apple has quietly signed a $1 billion a year deal with Google to give Siri a new brain, powered by Gemini, a 1.2 trillion parameter model that could redefine Apple's voice assistant forever. Apple's biggest AI move yet. This isn't just another tech upgrade, it's a turning point. For the first time in over a decade, Apple is openly relying on a rival's technology. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple spent months testing AI systems from OpenAI and Anthropic before finally choosing Google's Gemini as the most capable option to power Siri's next evolution. The deal, finalized in November 2025, makes Apple one of Google's biggest AI customers. It's not a long-term marriage, though. Insiders say Apple views Gemini as a bridge, not a destination, a short, Term solution while its in-house AI division builds a competing system with roughly 1 trillion. Parameters What makes this even more interesting is the cost. Apple reportedly paid $1 billion per year for access to Gemini, but using Anthropic's Claude would have cost $1.5 billion annually. That half-billion difference, paired with Google's scale and existing ties with Apple, made Gemini the smarter choice. How Siri Will Change The next version of Siri, expected to roll out in spring 2026, won't just sound smarter, it will think smarter. Gemini will handle the assistant's most advanced features, such as summarizing messages, understanding complex questions, and managing multi-step tasks. If you ask Siri to plan my day, summarize my unread emails, and message my team, Gemini will be the one interpreting and executing that request. Simpler commands, like setting alarms or playing. Music will still rely on Apple's own smaller models that run directly on iPhones and Macs. This hybrid approach lets Apple balance power and privacy. Gemini provides intelligence, but it won't have access to your personal data. That's because Apple is keeping everything within its own. Private Cloud Compute System, a secure environment designed to process AI tasks without leaking. Sensitive information. So, while Google's Gemini powers Siri's mind, Apple controls its memory. Inside Apple's secret A, I project Linwood. Behind the scenes, Apple's own AI lab isn't slowing down. Under the leadership of Mike Rockwell, the visionary behind the Vision Pro headset, and Craig Federighi, Apple's software chief, the company is developing a new system codenamed Linwood. Linwood's goal is simple but ambitious create a fully Apple-built model that can rival or even surpass Gemini. With over a trillion parameters planned, it would give Apple complete control over its AI stack, from hardware to data privacy to model training. Until then, Gemini fills the gap, letting Apple release a supercharged Siri without waiting years for its own model to mature, keeping Google in the background. Despite how big this collaboration is, don't expect Apple to promote it. Unlike the Safari search deal, where Google pays Apple roughly $20 billion annually to stay the default search engine, this partnership will remain almost invisible. According to Guru Focus and CNET, Apple will present Siri's new abilities as an internal innovation, not as a powered by Google product. There won't be co-branding or logos from a user's perspective. Siri will simply get smarter without any mention of Gemini. Apple has always valued control over its image. Even when Google's technology is involved, Apple's brand must stay front and center. It's a quiet but strategic way to use outside help while maintaining the illusion of total independence. Let's talk about the numbers. When the deal became public, Apple's stock rose slightly, less than 1%, to $271.70, while Alphabet gained as much as 3.2%, reaching $286.42. Investors saw it as a win-win. Apple finally takes AI seriously, and Google adds a billion dollar to revenue stream to its growing Gemini division. But financially, this deal is just one part of a broader relationship. Remember, Google already pays Apple about $20 billion a year to remain the default search engine on iPhones. Together, these arrangements show how deeply intertwined the two tech giants have become, even as they compete on multiple fronts. It's a partnership built on rivalry and mutual need. The global strategy 
Apple's Gemini-powered Siri won't look the same everywhere. In China, where Google's services are, blocked, Apple plans to use its own AI models instead. These localized systems will include content, filters developed with Alibaba and Baidu, ensuring compliance with Chinese regulations. This approach lets Apple expand Siri's intelligence globally while respecting regional laws and data. Rules, a quiet revolution inside Siri. If the rollout goes as planned, spring 2026 could mark Siri's biggest transformation since it was introduced. Users can expect a much more conversational and capable assistant, one that can summarize long texts, reason across apps, and even predict what you need next. Apple's engineers call this a contextual leap. Instead of executing single commands, Siri will understand intent, connecting dots between reminders, schedules, and communication. So when you say, tell my team I'll be late to the meeting because my flight is delayed, Siri won't. Just send a text. It'll check your calendar, notify the right contacts, and adjust your reminders automatically. What this means for Apple's future. Apple's $1 billion Gemini deal isn't just about upgrading a voice assistant, it's about regaining momentum in the AI race. For years, the company was seen as behind the curve, focused on hardware while competitors built intelligent ecosystems. But with this move, Apple signals that it's ready to compete at full scale. Apple partnering with Google might sound strange, but it's one of the smartest plays in tech, right? Now, Gemini gives Siri the intelligence boost users have been waiting for, while Apple buys Precious. Time to perfect its own models. It's a temporary alliance built on necessity, one that could reshape how we interact with every Apple device. What do you think? Is Apple's billion-dollar bet on Google a sign of strength or desperation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.